very warm welcome to all my dear friends from the media over here, as well as my colleagues from Research in Motion from all over the world. Uh, it's a great occasion for all of us here today. It's a momentous occasion. And uh, I'm going to spend a few minutes with all of you to, uh, to actually take you through uh, a landmark Okay, a landmark occasion uh, for, for research in motion globally as well as for us in India. Uh, what's, what's a landmark? Let's try and figure out what, what a landmark is. You know, uh, in, in this country, I think we are living in some very, very exciting times. We are living in a time when uh, the Indian telecom sector has, has been for some time and continues to see some very robust growth. We are today about 900 million subscribers on mobility. Uh, I think in the last year itself, we added about 129 million subscribers. Now that's a lot of number, okay? Uh, it also makes India the fastest growing telecom market in the world. We are second only to China, okay? China, I think, has about a billion. We are second only to China. So what do these numbers mean for us? Actually, it's not no brainer. What, what do these mean for us? It actually means with the landline telephony at about 35 million, most of the Indians will make their first ever call on a mobile telephone. Okay? No brainer there. 900 million out of 1.2 billion population. And uh, the other phenomenon, the other truth, the PC penetration in this country is 6% in the urban areas, 1% in the rural areas. So what does that mean? It means that the first experience with internet for the Indians, for most of the Indians, will also be on a mobile device. Again, that's a no-brainer there. Okay? So what it means is that the shift in this usage pattern brings in some very profound changes in the culture of this country and the way we communicate. It also brings about certain changes in the economy. It impacts the economy in a very different way of the country. In some ways, I think the impossible is already happening in this country. For a nation which is so fragmented, one, it's so large, it's so fragmented, it's so diverse, to be able to communicate effectively, this is one, mobility has been one industry or technology which has brought the large country together, okay? But, you know, what I like most of all is the practical aspects which the mobility has brought about for the country. Some years ago, my device, it made, it made my diary disappear. I was taking all my notes on this. Then after some time, it made my camera disappear. Then it made my music system disappear. It has actually now helped me in removing my wallet. So it becomes a mobile wallet for me as well. The only thing I wish is it, it also helps me keep the bills away. That I don't know how it'll, how it'll do. Okay, but there are really certain very practical aspects. So this is one device which has actually enabled multiple devices to be all brought into one to make our lives easier, okay? So these are landmark changes, you know, but this is not the landmark that I've been talking about. Okay, let me go ahead. What does it mean for businesses? For businesses, what it means is there is a large opportunity for the businesses to be able to reach out to a large number of their customers on this platform, on the mobility platform, and, and reach out much faster. Uh, the other thing that it brings about is the fact that it has enabled a lot of innovations. Let me talk about some of the simplest of the innovations. When mobility began in this country, and that was the year 1996, okay, the first innovation that came out was of the missed calls. So even now, when my driver wants to avoid his bills from running up, he gives me a missed call. 
The other factor is that my wife is reminding me to come back home early, so she also gives me. The fact is, the missed call was one of the biggest innovations. What did it cost? Rupees zero. But Indians are very good at innovating. Okay? I, I still remember the days where it was even incoming being charged, so people would see the missed call and they would die. So when I talk about innovation, let's see the other aspects of innovation. Look at the aviation industry adopting the mobile technology. Today, if I'm getting, if my flight is getting delayed, I get a message. Very soon it will be coming on the BBM as well. That okay, your flight has been delayed. Okay, or if there are other changes, I get the message. Airline industry is using it very effectively. The BFSI industry is using it very, very effectively. Uh, I think. Uh, one of the biggest opportunities out here is on the mobile banking. Over 40% of India is unbanked. So I would say that really is an opportunity waiting to be uh, waiting to be banked. Okay. Uh, look at this in terms of the applications. Okay, in terms of apps, in the last three years there were 300,000 apps which were developed. Okay, and there were about 10 billion downloads of those apps an interesting thing that i want to interesting statistics that i want to share with you is 2 billion of those 10 billions were downloaded by blackberry users okay uh, we've got mobility solutions in the enterprise space and they are such which clearly give us a clear edge over everybody in terms of those of those uh, enterprise apps that we solutions that we bring to our enterprise customers As we move ahead, mobile apps will feed a frenzy. Okay. About 30% of the global app consumption is going to be coming out of India and China. These are the countries that are going to be leading it. Just to give you an example, in two years, the number of developers working on, on apps for BlackBerry in India has moved from 4,000 to more than 30,000. Today, major enterprises are using are using enterprise apps given by BlackBerry to improve their productivity, to communicate better, and to make life easier for their own employees. In fact, I would say it would be wonderful if, if some of the enterprises were to give incentives in, in terms of some of the free apps. That would make everybody pretty, pretty happy. Mobiles have changed the lives of all of us. All of us in this room, I think all of us have been impacted by, by, by the mobility. What we are driven, what we want to do is to actually reach out to more number of towns, to more number of consumers. We are already getting to the tier 2 and tier 3 cities. We are expanding our reach, reaching out to those consumers, bringing them better devices, better solutions to be able to make their work lives uh, as good as all of us have been aspiring for. Okay, but again, this is not the landmark that I've been alluding to. So what have I been talking about? We are here, right market, right time, right industry, having brought the right products. Look at what we did last year. Last year, we brought out the Playbook 7, seven new devices. Uh, on OS 7, we continue to bring in more devices. Our commitment to this country remains 100% and beyond. And we continue to bring in iconic products which make our consumers happier. It's not that whatever I'm speaking about is Tom Tommy. It's not that. We won certain accolades. In 2012, we were a judge early on in 2012, for the previous year, we were a judge, the second buzziest brand in India across all categories. We were amongst the top 10 most visible brands of 2011 across all categories. We scored 8 out of 10 in super brands survey. We stormed into the top 5% brands across India, across all categories. In the same year, CMO Asia also voted us as the most popular 
youth brand of India. What does that mean for us? What it means for us is we are becoming increasingly more and more relevant for our youth customers, for our youth consumers across the country. We are not only helping them, helping connect the enterprise customers, but also a large youth customer base for, for whom we are becoming almost cult, the most preferred brand across the country. <clears throat> so what is the lesson for us in this? The lesson for us is, if we can deal with the youth, if we can deal with the restlessness of the youth, we can deal with anything. As I've always said, this is a butterfly country. The attention span of youth is like that of a butterfly. From one to the other to the other. We have to be able to quickly understand what their needs are and to be able to communicate with them. And once we are able to relate with them, we can deal with anything. <clears throat>